welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad you all found me again today. My channel is all about romance books and cozy mysteries. And today I'm going to be doing a tag. I'm really excited about this one because it sounds like it's so much fun. It's a rapid fire book tag. I saw it on Lee's channel, who her channel's name is Dark Roots Creations. I will put her in the description below. Love her, love her channel, fabulous. And of course, the original creator, Girl Reading. I will put her YouTube channel in the link below. All right, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna try to do these as fast and snippy and snappy as possible. So hold on, buckle up your seatbelts. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Ebook or physical book? Ebook if I'm going to, but I do a lot of audio. Paperback or hardback? Paperback. Online or in-store book shopping? I would prefer in-store, but mainly it's online right now. <laughs> Trilogy or series? Oh, series all the way. Heroes or villains? I'm going to say villains because I feel like I'm kind of a goody two-shoes in real life. And so I think it's just fun to do something different. So I'm going villains. A book you want everyone to read. Oh my gosh, everything. Uh, any cozy mystery. You tell me a subject that you're interested in and I will give you a cozy mystery recommendation because I feel like it's such an underrated genre. And if you would give it a chance, you might love it. Recommend an underrated book. Uh, the first book in the Gladdy Gold series by Rita Lakin. I feel like that's a cozy mystery series that's very underrated. The last book you finished, Murder Plainly Read by Isabel Allen, who is AKA Amanda Flowers. Love that series. It's an Amish quilt series. It's so much fun. The last book you bought, um, it's been so long I have no idea. I unintentionally bought like, I don't want to tell you how many. So if you haven't heard about my KU debacle, basically about KU was very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. And I went through and I was like, based upon my spotlights that I'd done for Cozy Mysteries, I had a ton that I was like, oh gosh, this is KU. And so I went through and I thought I was putting them on my wish list and I was buying them. So I had to call Amazon. They could see that it all happened like literally in the five to 10 minutes after I bought KU. I was like, ding, 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 ding. And so they were very nice, very helpful, and of course took all those charges off. He actually sent me this like link that was like, here's your KU catalog and don't venture from there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> thank you, kind sir. <laughs> all right, so, but intentionally, it's been so long, I have no idea. I made myself a promise of, well now, quite a few years ago, um, we sat down to do a budget and when I saw the numbers that I was spending on books, I said, I will not do that ever again. And so now I use a lot of library services. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? Oh, probably like a candy wrapper or a gum wrapper. Uh, used books, yes or no? Uh, yeah. Top three favorite genres. Cozy mysteries, romance, and women's fiction. Borrow or buy? Borrow. Characters or plot? Characters. I'm a very character-driven reader. I mean, there has to be a plot, but I'm really... Yeah, really character driven. Long or short books, uh, medium. Uh, long or short chapter, short. I need to be able to stop and go and do something and I don't like to stop in the middle of chapters. Name the first three books you can think of. The, I see, I think of series. I'm gonna still tell you the three series I can think of. For romance, Men of Ink series by Shell Bliss. The, Amish Candy Shop series by Amanda Flower and the, oh my gosh, one more, one more, one more, one more. The Pepper Martin series by Casey Daniels. Another cozy mystery series. It's fabulous. I'm trying to find my place in the, where we were. Books that make you laugh or cry. Oh gosh, laugh every time, 100%. Our world, our fictional world, a fictional world. <laughs> Audiobooks, yes or no? 100% yes. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? 100% yes. <laughs> book to movie or book to TV adaptation? Most of the time I don't like either, but I would say book to movie. A movie or TV show you preferred to its book? Anything by John Grisham. 
series or standalone series every time. All right, that was so short. I tried to do that as fast as possible. That was so much fun. Girl reading, you created an awesome tag. Lee, thank you for doing it so that I could see it and have fun with it. If you wanna do it, feel like you were tagged. I just sprinkle tag, 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 tag to everybody. I don't wanna just pick anybody because I have no idea off the top of my head and I don't know how to leave and let people know that I've tagged them. So most of the time, I don't see when people tag me. So um, I just feel like I should just, you know, anybody who wants to do it, go forth, be happy and do the rapid fire reading tag. Until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye everyone.